I mean, everybody in this room knows what it takes. I, I, I doubt that anybody that came into this session today, was, I hope you weren't looking for a magic bullet because there is no such thing as the magic bullet. It's taking everything that we already know and just basically put it into action. Okay, so the benefits of the safety committee to your organization, these are just a few. Um, we talk about increased productivity. Everybody talks about productivity, but it has to be productivity that's increased safely. And so if safety is a value, it's intertwined, it's intertwined within your organization. So everything you do, whether your procurement's purchasing something, it doesn't matter, whatever you do, it's a value. It's part of who you are. Is that hopefully through an effective safety committee, an interactive safety committee, you can improve the morale of your employees. Even on our safety, our local safety committee, and they leave and they go back to the to their, you know, the individuals that they work with and they go, wow. I didn't know about this regulation, and this is what you know the safety coordinators battle with management to get this stuff all done. I didn't know it took this much to get the fall protection or the confined space program or bloodborne pathogens. I didn't realize what it took. They become your best advocates when it goes back to 24-7, doesn't change, doesn't stop, you don't clock it out, it is part of you, it's a value, okay? You said it right there, 24-7, it doesn't change. You don't go outside the gate at the end of the day and then become a different person. You're the same person all the time. It's a lifestyle. Safety is a lifestyle. Make it interesting, engaging, challenging, and most of all, make sure that you're proud to serve on your safety committee. You shouldn't have to hang your head to say, I'm coming into a safety committee. You should be energized, positive, and be proud to serve.